Okay, welcome back. Hey, today we're going to do a little crappie jig fly. It's going to be a bearded jig fly. Going to make it for my buddy Justin, who is a fellow engineer at work, buddy of mine. He is a avid outdoorsman. Every season he's doing something, and he likes to fish for crappie off his boat with his kids. Made some flies in the past. And he said he did well with it. So he likes to tip the uh, point of the hook with uh, some wax worms because he keeps the fish. Little fish fries. But I want to make him a jig so good he doesn't have to. So let's see what I can do here. What I have in advice is a little nymph hook from Unkwa, size 8. See what a U uh, 103 left the barb on it because he's going to keep the fish. Thread I'm using is Danville 140 denier in pink, and we're going to start off with some weight 020. Going to do several wraps of this. Start off with the back air. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. How about that? That should be enough. Our copter it off. Pinch it together. Now, mind you, this uh, this could be a nice little uh, fly for uh, some still water trout. Also, if you are a catch and release type of person, you can just pinch the barb down. So now that you added the lead, center of the lead in the uh, middle of the shank of the hook, a couple wraps in front, and then a few wraps in behind, keeping everything centered. Now you're going to wrap up and over the weight. You want to hide it as well as you can. Doesn't have to be 100% perfect, but give it a good coating of thread up and over top of it. You're going to add some UV resin to it, and that UV resin is going to really do a lot of the hiding also. You can use bigger thread, and of course that will hide it quicker, but I'm sticking with the 140 because it helps it finish it better up front. That looks pretty good there. Alright, take the thread up front, park it, take some resin, in this case it's uh, solar res thin. All I want is a thin coating on this. I just want to help protect the thread. I want this fly to last several fish. Add it. Uh, you know, Justin's not a fly fisherman. He is a uh, going to be jigging this off the side of his boat, and I want him to last several crappies. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and coat that thread up. Try to even it out as best as possible. Take your light, cure it up, get uh, up under, underneath of it, think about getting one of those Loon super duper lights that are 100 bucks, if any of you guys have it let me know how well you like it. Supposed to cure it a lot faster. It's not tacky anymore, so now we can continue on. Next, we're going to add some chain bead eyes. These are medium silver plated. You can go uh, larger if you want. I do have some larger ones that, uh, but I didn't have silver. Or, well, I do have silver somewhere, but I didn't. I didn't dig deep enough. Go ahead, cut them off. Utility scissors work just as well. Lay it right on top. 
tie it in in a figure eight pattern keeping everything whoops hit the front of the eye there works nice make sure everything's straight you're gonna add a little bit of UV to that a little later so that's gonna hold that alright first we're gonna add some of this pink crystal flash let's take a little uh, section of it about like that cut it away take the UV flash that you just cut away and lay it right in between the chain bead eyes about the length of the hook past them wrap them in pull them back wrap over a couple times now you're going to cut everything the length take the uh, longer section on the bottom cut it about the same length as the top section save that for later because now you have enough for another fly take your fly wrap it under or turn it over let me get this uh, little straggler here can't have him messing up the whole video right alright next we're gonna add some of this white deer hair this is actually the same deer hair I think I used on the last video. In fact, I know it is. Take your hair and take a little clump of it. Take out a little more than what you think you're going to need. You don't want it uh, too much. Just want enough to add a bottom layer. Alright, where was I? I got uh, interrupted by a phone call. Alright, we're going to take a chunk of this deer hair. Just a good little clip. Cut it close to the hide. I'm going to remove all the short, fluffy stuff on the bottom. We're not going to stack this. But we are going to comb it out. Going to use this uh, comb I got at the beauty shop. Beauty, uh, what do you call that? Supply shop. Looking for a comb that does not uh, anti-static comb. I know that bone. They didn't have any bones, so that she sold me this. That it would be what they got all that static on there. It doesn't work all that well. But oh well, wasn't very expensive. All right, <clears throat> now that I combed all the fluff out of it, we're not going to stack it. Boy, I got to uh, get all that stuff off my hands there. We're going to leave it a little uneven. I do want to thin it down just a little bit because I think it's just a little thick. deer hair everywhere. Now take your deer hair and shove it right into the bend of the hook. 
to the length of the crystal flash, reach up around it, give it a pitch, give it a wrap, try to keep everything on the bottom here, pull it tight, give it another wrap, pull it tight again, just give it one more wrap. Just like that. Flip it over. Make sure you didn't get anything on top. That looks pretty good. Flip it back. Pull your hair back out of the way. Pull it up in front, right behind the eye. Give it a couple wraps. Let's go ahead and give it a whip finish to tie it off. Reach right in there, give it a few whips, pull it tight, cut it away, oops, and there you go. Now we're going to trim it down. Take all your butt end sections and kind of gather them together. Lift them up and add a sort of little angle there. You make yourself a little beard. If you find any other butt ends that you didn't get, back down just a little bit all right here's my little bearded crappie jig just kind of a little fun fly to make I'm not a huge crappie fisherman myself but I do catch them without targeting them quite often And crappies love flash. And cut that up just a little bit around the eye there so he doesn't uh, have an issue tying his uh, line in it. There we go. Alright, got yourself a little bearded crappie jig. Some little fun to fish with. Some fun to tie. We're going to add a little UV resin, resin right on top. Alright, take your box in. Make sure you work it around in there a little bit. Hit it with the light. I want to make him a carpet jig so attractive to the fish that he doesn't have to tip it with a wax worm. That's my goal. And I'm sure he'll give me all the feedback in the world. This is guaranteed to catch fish the way it is. It's not too different than any other little jig fly that uh, you see out there. But it's something I uh, was playing around with before. There you go. It's got enough weight on it. To, you can just sit on the side of his boat with this uh, little spinning rod him and his kids and just jig it down nice and nice and heavy can't tell you what the weight is actually but it's uh, just enough to you can jig it right down and have fun with it alright hope you like this fly <clears throat> you can see I didn't pinch the barb down on it because he's gonna keep the fish he's gonna eat them if you wanna Use this for trout in a still water uh, situation. Go ahead and pinch that barb down if you're going to be a catch and release type of guy. And there you go. Alright, hope you like this fly. And hope you enjoy my videos. If you do, click subscribe, click like, and let me know what you think. Alright, cheers. Have fun out there. 
and stay safe. I know uh, opening uh, weekend for stock trout is coming up here uh, next week, or actually this uh, this weekend. Hope you all do well. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you next time.